Hey yo, wavy, where you at, nigga? Yes, sir. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Oto Nganya and welcome to my house. To all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning back in. Welcome back to the party. And if you are joining us here for the very first time, please do make sure that you click the subscribe button down below so that you can officially be a part of our fam. On the decks today, we have the 2023 updated um, or led to unfiltered Q&A. I put up a question sticker on my Instagram and asked you guys, you know, to ask me whatever you want to know and you guys did so shout out to you and you and you and you and you um yeah without any further ado let's get into it we are not writing questions down on a piece of paper because we have a new phone and an old phone hey can i get an amen <laughs> all right anyway <laughs> It's God's little mercies, like really the little things that just make me so excited. It's giving growth, it's giving progress, it's giving, it's giving, okay, it's giving. First question, how did you save up for your new phone or just money saving tips? Um, I did not save up for this phone, like at all. I don't know how to save, I'm not a good saver, it's not my thing. <laughs> so in this case, that's what happened, you know, um, I worked a lot in December. I was at the marketing center. I was a part of like four different campaigns. So all in all, in my phone, even like it just came together, and I was able to buy it in that moment. But like, yeah, saving is not my strong point. I want to try and do it this year, just because I'm like working on discipline, just in general. And I think saving money is a good idea. It's something that you should do. But it's very hard. I don't think there's enough money to save. Everything is so expensive. So what must i not have so i can have money to save next you know? question how much do you get paid for being an ea um legally i can't tell you that <laughs> like dead ass i'm actually not supposed to talk about it at all now that i revise like somebody reminded me at, when you begin the marketing session we sign like non-disclosure forms so i'm actually not supposed to say a single thing about it um yeah and yeah i can't i can't answer that question because i'm trying to get this job again so next question would you go skydiving yeah definitely for sure absolutely it's definitely on my bucket list skydiving bungee jumping i've been ziplining but enjoy those two definitely next question what is your height um excuse me i'm not sure in terms of like five feet i mean like five one five two i don't know how to convert but like in centimeters, I'm 155 centimeters. The last time I checked how tall I was, that was the height. I doubt that I've grown any taller. So yeah. Next question. How do you make money? Lol. Thanks. Um, how do I make money? I make money from YouTube, from campaigns. I'm at the I'm joking about the last part. I'm joking. Um <laughs> But yeah, mostly YouTube and like campaigns that I get throughout the year. Um, yeah, where else does money come from? And any like the marketing center, but that only happens at the end of the year. So, you know, otherwise I don't have a job. I am a student. Um, I don't have money. It was just now. I have to dig. I mean, I mind because I was shoe. Because I was better. It's because I'm at home and I'm at home and I don't have to pay for anything. So I'm living my best life. <laughs> swiping my parents card when i go back to rest news of bond to no man no <laughs> next question are you going to be consistent on youtube this year um i hope so anything can happen life can happen at the moment i'm really enjoying it like youtube for me it really depends on on how i feel in the moment i feel like you guys can also tell if i'm not grand you know and then like the content is subpar so I, I always aim to to produce stuff that i'm proud of so if i'm not in the mood if i'm going through something then the stuff i'm going to produce is going to be whack and i don't want to put that out there so if things keep going the way they're going then sakupuga and consistency is without a doubt going to be a thing because i'm enjoying myself you know i'm having a good time here so yeah 
next question how do you go about promoting hair on your youtube so with the hair companies i before before they before i got the the thing i used to like dm them and ask them you know like still lana i want to do this on my youtube channel you know um how can i go about doing that and they never used to respond to me you know like i think only one of them responded and was like you don't have enough subscribers and stuff like that so i don't think that route works um now what happened is they have all reached out to me so i think just grow your youtube channel you know get the engagements up get your your subscribers up you know jay work on growing your youtube channel and they will find you one thing i've realized is that people are always watching like they are always watching because a lot of the the campaigns that i've that i worked on in the past couple months have all been brands reaching out to me so yeah just work on making your youtube and your instagram because i think they find your instagram first like cute and be consistent about it you know yeah next question where do you see yourself three years from now how old would i be in three years um 20 24 um by then i would like to be graduated graduated you're like done with school if i end up doing a postgrad like i'm trying to be done with that also by that age um working in my own apartment not in durban anymore <laughs> um yeah not in durban i hope god doesn't mishear me and like a uh, place is somewhere stupid like bluefontein when i say not in durban i mean just in another big city so like johannesburg or cape town those are the only options i'm not trying to be in northwest you get me so yeah but then i said take shame i don't think there's anything else left for me here i think i've done everything i can do at this point it's like stunting my growth i need to go anyway next question um hi can you hi <laughs> can you let me know about your journey on being an influencer like everything please um so this whole influencer influencer thing started in 20 2020 like peak lockdown we're all sitting around we're not doing anything all we have is like each other through the screens of our phone through instagram through youtube through twitter whatever social media platform you're on so at that time in my boredom i was obviously spending a lot more time on instagram you know and that's when i realized like that's when i realized like what an influencer is like i really looked into it not research it per se but like you know i was following like oh oh by the mkh i was following wanang um who else was really like influential in this inspiring me to do this but a, a, a lot of like joburg baddies joburg influencers like people who were in it at that time already you know uncle Vuzi. that's where i even got the word influencer from at that time he was doing street cred like on youtube he was doing street cred and that's how he used to say influence i used to say influenza so then i spelt it the way i spelt it and like that became a thing um yeah and then i was like okay cool this is really cool you know i also joined new skin at that time so new skin it, it also besides skin it teaches you a lot about network marketing and like understanding what that is and how it works and the value of it so those two things came hand in hand for me and it was like this makes so much sense why am i not making money from doing things that i authentically like to do you know shopping at mr price doing skincare um da -da 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 -da. and then um i was like okay cool i like this it makes sense to me it's giving bonang like for me bonang is the ultimate influencer like when i think of who i'm trying to be it's like it's like a bonang it's like a mishali you know like those are the girlies like the eight girlies so yeah with all of those things i was like this is what i want to do as well start off small you know let's see if this is a thing that can work how far it can take us um and then i started dming brands that i wanted to work with like just dming them you know seeing what they're gonna say at the time i had no idea of like media kits rate cards like what that was at all you know i had no portfolio i had no idea what a niche was and these are all things that i learned along the way then lucky for me you know shout out to Bradji. i got a i got a campaign with mr price so that really sets off like everything for me it was like a, a three months campaign 
you know they were sending me clothes and I, I just had to take a picture and they were paying me money to post it on my instagram and i was like oh my gosh can you imagine if i take this seriously how much money i could make how many free clothes i could get how many cool people i could meet you know so that's how it started for me and then after that mr price thing i started taking it seriously you know like getting into media kits understanding what a niche is really doing the research part of like network marketing and like being professional about it and how to approach brands and yeah but all of that information is on youtube but a lot of it is definitely a learn as you go process like you have to get rejected a couple times so that you can understand how to word your emails better you know you you look at other people's media kits so you can see how yours should be structured um yeah stuff like that so i hope that answers your question <laughs> next question um are you in a relationship yo sana no no like but it's fine it's fine like i'm i'm single and i'm okay i'm okay i i, I don't think i need to be in a relationship like sometimes I, I i miss certain aspects of being in a relationship like just the companionship having someone to tell mudan stupid things you know um jay just share my life with you <laughs> the dates the gifts the the the, the oh, those are the things i miss but like honestly i think i think he writes i think he writes over manji like i'm just I just want to be alone then man, i'm trying to figure some things out and i think being alone is is the best thing for me yeah next question would you date outside of your tribe and not anything close to your tribe something like Colin bob <laughs> Cha, um, I, I, I don't want to say no because like anything can happen, you know. But if I'm being quite honest, I don't think I would do it on purpose. Like we'd have to fall in love by mistake, because for me, I'm, I'm very Zulu. Like the language barrier is, is a big deal to me. The culture is not an issue. I, I think you can always learn people's different cultures. I'm also very open to learning about other people's cultures and like. I would love to do that, you know, but ah, uh, my man needs to understand Zulu at the very least. If he can't speak it, he needs to at least understand it because those languages are hard, child. At no point am I trying to learn Tonga. Have you heard Tonga? Have you heard Venda? Those are some hard ass languages to learn. I'm very old. I don't think I could learn a language right now, you know, so I, I, I definitely need a partner that understands Zulu because gee, like how are we going to communicate otherwise? And I refuse to speak English all day. I refuse. So I think that's the only thing holding me back. It's just it's the, it's the language barrier. It's the language barrier. But otherwise, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Next question. How has life been lately? Um, life is good, you know. Can't complain. A lot of stocks are up. So I'm having a good time. <laughs> Shout out to the fact that I'm the youngest thing of doing it. Okay. Um, yeah, so far so good. Like this this year is is so we'll see. Next question. What keeps you motivated? Um, in terms of just life in general, or like in terms of school, I'm not sure, but I will answer both. Actually, it, the, the same rule applies for, I think, all of the aspects in my life. I just have goals. Certain things that I want to have um, for school, like certain marks that I want. So those goals keep me motivated because it's like, I know what I have to do to reach them. So just stay at it until you get there. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I also really get a man like so much. So I, I know that I have to work really hard to have the life that I want, to have the little materialistic things that I want. So, yeah. Um, next question. What are you studying? I am studying a BCom in information technology and marketing, a double major. Next question. Um, to grow the brand and get even bigger and better opportunities. Period. Pair. I receive hallelujah amen thank you so much for that um <laughs> next question have you ever considered having a tick tock absolutely not 
I I don't I don't have TikTok even like just to watch the videos. If there's one thing that I think is the most unnecessary, stupid, annoying app, it's TikTok. Like I'm good. I'm I'm that friend that doesn't know the dances to the popular songs because I'm now TikTok and I'm okay with it. Like I I will clean it out, it doesn't hurt me and uh, I've stayed this long, survived this long without it and I will continue to. <laughs> Next question: If you were to collaborate with which YouTuber would you choose? Um, I'm very biased. It would have to be YouTubers that I know, because what can I say? I I I I, I take a long time to like defrost around people I don't know. You know, I, I'm 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 not a what's the word? I'm not like an extrovert. It's like I'm I'm very. You know, I papa nabangan bam. So I, I I can't imagine how that would translate on camera because essentially I'm sitting with a stranger trying to make this chemistry that doesn't exist. So it definitely has to be people people that I know, you know. Asipe, Usiwe, like Nondumi. So people that I know personally as well. So we can actually be able to have chemistry on camera as well, so that the video is nice. Um if it was any other person who i didn't know personally we would definitely have to like go out on a date first oh i'd also really like to collab with those kids i just don't know in, in in what capacity though because i'm not sure about my acting skills but um yeah but as i was saying I have to go out on like a date maybe like talk about the concept first so we can get used to each other so i can be like comfortable then the chemistry would translate on camera i don't know if that makes sense but that 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 would be my thing if i'm collaborating with strangers Anyway, cha, next question. Um, how did you convince your parents to let you drink and get tattoos? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Um, you don't convince them. You don't convince them. I haven't convinced them. I don't think there's a single parent in the world who disapproves of tattoos and drinking that would all of a sudden one day, once you're a certain age, approve of it. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. If they don't like it from the jump, they will never like it. They will never understand. So you just get to a point, to an age where you're comfortable with disappointing them. And you do what you want. Do what you want. Do what you want. Next question. When last did you see Adam? How? <laughs> um, Nyanaz, you guys have dirty minds. The last time that I physically saw him as in laid my eyes on him because we're in the same building was last week yeah next question how old are you 21 can you do some for me i'm so excited to tell 21 like i don't think you guys understand like i i, I don't know what i think is going to happen as soon as the clock strikes but i just feel like 21 i'm old like i'm a real adult what do you even mean you know talk to me nice so yeah i'm turning 21 in exactly 10 days now so yeah be ready for the birthday vlog period next question um what is the name of the phone that you have this is an iphone 13 pro um yeah yeah the reason i got a pro is because the pro max was out of my budget and also it's the exact same camera just a slightly smaller phone so same difference do you know what i mean yeah Next question, tips on growing the gram and the tube. So, um, I'm sure you've heard this before, but it's definitely consistency. With, with YouTube, I found that the more often that I post, the, the more subscribers I get. With Instagram, I have not figured out the formula because when my Instagram started blowing up, I wasn't posting that regularly. Like it was around 2020, I had Mr. Price campaigns, I wasn't posting that regularly but the thing that blew up is like i had a i had a i was going through something and I, I made like a video talking about it and then um that video exploded you know and all of a sudden i had ten thousand followers and it's like oh my goodness you know all of a sudden people want to hear my opinions on like things that i'm saying so then that became a whole like lockdown series it was called let's talk and i was actually just talking about whatever whatever was brought to my attention whatever i had seen during the week you know just that was the vibe so that helped my instagram blow up but in terms of like posting consistently consistently i've never been that girl who like posts every week who who has a posting schedule 
I've never done that. Like, I, I think my Instagram is, is very authentically me. You know, it's, it's highlights of my life. It is not a, a curated feed where I'm trying to match things and have like, you know, a cute, everything is blue, everything is orange. Um, I've tried to do that, but it was just too much work. It was too much. Now I must go to a coffee shop just to take a picture. I don't have that much time and I like, I don't care that much. So I, I can't do that. <laughs> so yeah, with Instagram, I really have not figured out the algorithm. It just, it just happened. And even now, sometimes I'll have like a, a picture that only gets 5,000 likes. Other times I have a picture that gets 30,000 likes. And it's like, I, I don't know. I just post what I want and the followers come themselves. Next question. What are you studying to be? I'm studying IT, but do I want to work in an office for the rest of my life? Now that, that is the question. <laughs> so when I pan be, because we really move. Um, next question. Are you ready from Umzimkul? Yes. My homeland is in Umzimkulu. Um, yeah, I don't know why you said, Are oh, you ready? Like, you don't believe me. Like, I'm finally in. <laughs> like, what do you mean by that? Um, but yeah, I am. I am. I am. I am. Uh, next question Your 2023 goals. I'm just gonna share like the materialistic ones because cha, I'm not trying to get deep into my goals because you know how people be smiling, settling on what the bass is on, you know, stuff like that. So I also don't like to 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 jinx myself by talking too much about something when it's not in motion yet. So the materialistic things that I want for this year, I definitely want to tick off something off of my designer wish list. I have a designer wish list on my notes um, of just like things that I really need, you know. And this year, this is the year, at least one of them, I need to have them by the end of the year. Something Gucci, something Louis Vuitton, something, something, you know? I'm trying to go at Diamond Walk and see some. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Which high school did you go to? Um, I went to Guarel, Devon Girls High School. Yeah. Next question. Do you think it's possible for a man not to cheat? Nope. And I said that with my whole chest. Um, you know, I, I've, I've had so many conversations with different men of all age groups and there's just this common theme that i've been seeing yoguti they always have at least two if it was like a bit like it's two by my three or four or five but most of the time they have at least two one of them tried to explain it to me and i was like i i i, I don't understand it i don't understand why you can't just be okay with one and he was like yeah but monogamy is, is not a, a normal thing if you if you if you so i think they they always are they always will and i don't know a single man who hasn't he might not do it anymore but has he in his life for sure because this is a man we're talking about and terrible creatures terrible like oh my goodness Next question. Um, <laughs> when are we seeing Mangi and Nonga again? We miss them. Um, I mean, I miss them too. The only reason that I, I haven't even seen them in a long time. Like, Mangi works now, so I barely get to see her. Nonga and I didn't live in the same city for a long time, but now that she is back, then I'm probably going to see a lot more of her like this year. Um, yeah, I don't know when... I don't know when, but back on us, Kabeni, but around in my pant. <laughs> Next question Who would you pick between a man that has money and is sad, or a man that is broke and happy? Um, my sad, like, why is sad? Does he need therapy? Because those things we can pay for with money. Like, I can help him get through that. A therapist can help him get through that, but the therapist needs money so you know <laughs> next question <laughs> would you stay in a toxic friendship that you've been in for would you stay in a toxic friendship like you have been friends for six years um i want to say no but it's obviously easier said than done especially because you guys have been friends for so long you know um usually when you have been friends for that long you realize that things are toxic segulate Segulates in the sense that you you really love and care about this person. So that's why it's so hard to let them go But if you guys do have that love for each other, then 
talk it out like try to talk it out um and and work it out and and see if you can fix it if you confronting the situation and trying to work it out shakes the relationship so much so that it ends then that's your cue it's not meant to be because that person clearly hates you if they're not trying to work it out with you you know and it's okay friendships end you move on you find new friends so yeah i think just confront the situation and see what happens because leaving it toxic like this is also not helping anyone you know so yeah next question what characteristics do you admire about yourself yo why is it so hard to think about like nice things about yourself i can tell you things i don't like about myself in two seconds but like things i admire about myself my goodness um I think I'm very resilient, you know. I, I can't think of a time that I haven't gotten something that I've put my mind to getting, you know, um in, in the midst of in the midst midst of whatever may have been thrown at me, you know. It doesn't always happen in the time that I want it to happen. It doesn't always look exactly like how I wanted it to look and obviously like that's God's interventions. But yeah i have never gotten something i have never not gotten something that i have put my mind to getting so i don't know if resilience is the right word but or like determination but those mean the same thing don't they but yeah that that's what i admire about myself next question when you wrote to your learners was it face to face or online and how was it please give me tips um I'm not too sure what you mean about like face-to-face -face and online when you write your learners you write it in front of a computer so that's the online part but obviously you, you write it at the driving center excuse me not the driving center what's it called the the, the licensing department you, you write it there so you physically are there but you're writing the test on the computer does that make sense are we on the same page i like how i ask you guys this as if you can respond to me um anyway tips study like how you would study for any other test whatever your study method is use that it's, it's it's a lot of words and like theory and like random things it's really just a remembering cramming regurgitating it and passing it's not that hard you can download the k53 app um i think it's a blue app if i remember correctly and that thing has a lot of practice test questions and they are very similar to the ones that will come out in your actual test but again, I did my learners like three years ago. So I don't know about the questions if they're still the same as the app. But this is South Africa. Things take a long time to get updated. So it's very probable. <laughs> Next question. What was the worst phase in your life if there is any? Um, the worst phase in my life was definitely... Um, like post matric beginning of first year yo and well that year i looked depression in the eyes like i saw it and i was like mm -hmm. this thing this thing it's getting it's getting closer it's coming here to me um yeah that 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 first those first couple months were, were were very hard for me like nothing went the way that i had planned Things and dreams that I had since grade 10 of how my post matric year was gonna look nothing went that way I, w I wasn't studying the, the, the degree that I wanted to study. I wasn't in the place that I wanted to be in I wasn't in the varsity that I wanted to be in like it was a whole mess. I was alone I didn't have a single friend on that campus. I now have to make friends and it's like Hey, bro. Hey, bro. God. I'm not your strongest soldier. What is this that you're putting me through like nothing nothing guys nothing so that year was very hard for me like very very hard for me and i always say um covid sucked obviously but personally it, it kind of saved my life in a way because i don't know what i would have been if i had to spend like a full complete year um in pmb you know I, I i don't know if i if my mental would have been able to handle it like i don't know if i was strong enough so the fact that i only spent basically like a month or like two how long were we were in school before covid happened but i spent two seconds there and then i was able to go home so being home and like being back in my city 
Jay, being around things in it, being around my people, that really helped me to get back up and like stay afloat and like stay alive. Um, but yeah, I, I hated PMB so much. I hated it so much, and I also just hated like I, I really felt so betrayed by God at that time. Like, I couldn't believe I have worked so hard, my marks are impeccable, but still, you will not give me what I want. Like, what is the reason? What did I do to deserve this? Um, I still can't tell you if if I understand the 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 lesson. Things have things I've obviously looked up. You know, my life is great. Do I think it would be better if I went where I wanted to go? I do think so. I still think so. But like, God knows best, and there's nothing I can do about that. So next yeah. question: In high school, were you ever insecure? And if so, how did you deal with it? Um, I was never insecure about my looks. I've always had a unwavering um, assurance like I've always been sure that I'm stunning like always even in primary school when I was really big like really chubby that never ever crossed my mind Dubuti, like clumping him move you know it was only when I lost the weight in high school and like I'm, when we're looking back at how big I used to be in primary where and like my family's like oh my god actually you used to be so big where I realized no man maybe I was on the other side of the conventionally attractive scale but it, it didn't occur to me ever at that point you know so i've never felt insecure about my looks like i've always been very sure <laughs> um but in high school i think the only thing i felt insecure about was like a academics um the school i went to was very academically focused like it was definitely a competition every day all day Okay, I play with different girls. It's not a game. It's not a joke. This is not a drill. This is real life um, And I, I it was just always a, a competition to to stay at the top. We were divided into first set second set third set and then like within the first set there's um, A class B class C class and so forth down the second set and the third set, right? so like in, in grade 8 I started off in the first set, but in the C class and then I worked my way up to the A class and I stayed there. I stayed there um, until like grade 11. Then grade 11, I was in the B class, you know, for some of my subjects. But by the time I was in grade 11, I, I, I cared, but not as much, you know, but like, I still cared a lot. So it was always just that, that pressure. I would see how am I, the people that are being in the A class, but I said they want to end the A class and the same group B class, man, Jay, that means I'm not as smart as I thought I was, so I need to work harder to get up there. And it was like, yeah, I'm just like, I want to be at the top. It was definitely just academic insecurity. One that, you know, was definitely self-inflicted because I don't think anyone was looking at me or being nagged that much. It was just me and my own head. But yeah. Next question. Are you done with your degree? No. This is my final year. And then I will be done. Yeah. Next question. Are you and Adam going to get back together? Nope. Next question. We're all ready to... Um, how do you feel about finding out that your mom watches your YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. You know, I'm, I'm just kind of like, oh, well, whoops. YouTube is annoying in that sense that you can't block people. You know, you can't block people. There's nothing I can do about it. I have no control over who sees it, you know. Um, I would much rather she didn't watch it just because now that she is watching it It's like someone in you show but at the same time. I don't want to Censor myself. I don't want to censor myself. I don't want to censor anything that I've been doing here um, Jay, so I Don't know man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel like I wish she would stop <laughs> I wish she would stop and like leave me alone. Just don't watch my YouTube channel like get off of here <laughs> Okay, get off of here, but now that she is, I guess, yeah. Reach out to him. Next question. How do you plan on tackling this year? I don't really have a plan, man. I don't really have a plan. I'm kind of just going with the vibes. The only thing that I've seen so far that I, I liked, I saw like a, I think it's her podcast, Umpumi. She was talking about how you, you, you need to like live as if you've already 
attained the things you want like like live in the, the the woman you want to be live your life as her so in terms of attacking this year that that's all i'm just living as my highest self as the woman that i think i am um the woman who has everything that she desires that's who i'm living as that's who i'm moving forward as and that's about it <laughs> next question do you see yourself having a podcast of some sort your face and voice and personality makes sense for it um i don't i don't think so hey i don't think so i feel like it's just another platform another job that i have to do that i don't feel like doing um i also don't really listen to podcasts that much i think maybe if i i, I got into it and like understood it more then maybe i would be more open to like trying my own but at the same time i don't like talking that much so my podcast requires me like i also can't imagine that that many people really care about what i have to say about what someone has talked about already so i don't know i don't think so though not anytime soon if it does happen you'll be the first to know <laughs> next question what motivated you to go through with starting a youtube channel mainly boredom boredom slight ounce of peer pressure i started my youtube channel during COVID. everyone was starting youtube channels um and i was like how youtube channel so i might as well just do this thing um yeah it, it really it, there was no motivation it was just vibes next question would you ever audition for big brother no i don't even watch big brother i don't understand it i don't understand why 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 are we watching abanyabandu talk to other people for hours like I, I don't get the purpose of it i love reality tv by the way like pointless reality television you know abo abo love island abo the ultimatum abo love is blind i love stupid reality tv shows like that but all of those shows have a purpose like here's what we're doing here's the goal hey big brother i i i don't get it like people sit and they watch you do nothing and then they decide if they like you or not and then they vote you out like what are we doing this for brother <laughs> What are you doing this for? Nah, I wouldn't shame because I, I don't understand it and I don't watch it. So, yeah, not for me. Yeah. Next question. How do you deal with the loss of someone that's still alive? I am suffering for real. Um, I'm assuming you went through like a friendship breakup type of thing. It's hard, obviously, because this is someone you loved and now you guys are no longer together. You know, you're no longer in each other's lives. But one thing I've noticed, one thing about God as soon as someone is out of your life you never see that person again like you, you rarely ever bump into people that you're no longer cool with i don't know how he does it what's that about but i really appreciate it like not having to see someone that you're on bad terms with really helps with forgetting about them not being consistently triggered by them so you'll be fine it takes time distract yourself be busy throw yourself into school and to work and gym but it's definitely it's just a time thing acknowledge that you are hurt and get over it don't allow yourself to stay in this funk forever don't even think about them block delete move on next question how do you feel about your final year and good luck thank you so much um i'm kind of scared like i'm, I'm kind of already scared but i'm excited also um i'm i'm kind of scared of like finishing school like what do you mean i'm an adult and i have to like work and like pay bills and you know like what do you mean by that i feel like i'm such a baby <laughs> what do you mean so I, i'm i'm scared for life after this phase of my life like you know university raised life that's been such a big part of shaping and molding who i am and after varsity like that's the next big phase of my life so i'm a little scared a little nervous a little to finish off but i'm also excited because it's time to move on it's time it's time to level up but yeah i'm also just scared of like the academic pressure especially because we're going back to school full time i haven't done that so the thought of it scares me a little bit because when when you really deep it the the you at school for half the day okay like probably eight till five then you have to come back you must cook you must find time to do your laundry you must find time to have a social life 
you must find time to do all your tasks. You must find time to study. You must find time. You must. Well, how many hours gone in a day? I must still sleep for eight hours. I must find time to exercise. I must find time to. Oh, guys, it like it's a lot when you really think about it. So that part scares me. But but otherwise, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> um, I think this is the last question. Yes, last question. How to start doing paid promo when you are shy and an introvert? Um, when you are shy and an introvert, how to start doing paid promo? I think unless you are doing, you know, like, um, I want to say physical paid promo, like the, the ones where you have to physically interact with people, that's the only time where maybe your shyness and being an introvert would like hold you back. But if you're doing like, um, campaigns where you're just shooting content and posting it then I, I don't think that part matters um i wouldn't say i'm an introvert i wouldn't say i'm that shy but i, I i'm also not like a people's person like that I, like i explained this earlier it takes me a while to defrost and like get with it get with people um I'm, I'm kind of reserved around people i don't know so in that case that's why I don't do a lot of physical speaking to people campaigns because I know that it would just make me uncomfortable and it would just take forever to get the points across and I just I don't think I'd be that good at it. So that's why I prefer sitting behind a camera on my own in my safe space and doing this. So you can do it. Don't let your personality hold you back. But obviously start with campaigns where you don't have to necessarily interact with other people. And as you get more comfortable with it, you will find a way to comfortably interact with people if you should need to. Yeah. Anyway, child, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for all your questions. I hope that I answered them all thoroughly and you are all satisfied with the answers. Um, yeah, for now, it's me, your girl, signing out. Until next time, bye fam.